What's up, Simonix, and welcome back to the show you've been waiting for almost a year. Yes, your favorite show on YouTube is back. Today, it is once again time for a review. As always, I will review three of your applications that you submitted like half a year ago. I don't know, I found them somewhere in my notes. As far as I know, all three applications are Ionic applications, but in the future, since we opened up the Simonix community, you could probably also submit your Flutter applications or your React Native applications. I'm interested in everything. Just leave me a link to your uh, App Store link, to the Play Store link, or to anything else. You gotta tell me the technology. You can also tweet me or send me an email because we're gonna do this format now more often because I know you really enjoyed the format in the past and I actually also enjoyed reviewing your application. So today we're gonna look at a quiz logic dual application, we're gonna look at a book tracking application and at a bingo application and I'm pretty sure we're gonna find something interesting in each of those applications. To make sure you never miss a video in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button and also give the video a like because it's gonna be an epic video I can promise you and now let's dive into today's app review. First app of the day is called Logic Duel. Actually, it's a German app. It pretty much means Logic Duel in English. Uh, we we're gonna find out if there's an English mode for this as well. It's available App Store and Play Store. Actually, has a nice trailer here. Mm, I like that. We're gonna keep that one open. So let's dive into this app. Uh, it starts with the good old loading spinner and it starts with a page that I can't scroll. <laughs> that is great. Uh, so we got the introduction swipe. I like it if it's not like the boring just swipes and it just like this really this rounded thing here. This already makes it a bit better including with that button. So more than just brain training. Actually it is in English. Nice. That's good. How are your skills? We got a cool animation here. We got an I really like those animations really this this was pretty easy, I guess, and it really spices up the view. Um, and that button has a nice, nice, I like that, I like that. Good, let's get started. Uh, welcome, let's start with a short introduction, let you get, I would probably like to have an option to, that says, no, I'm Simon, I don't need an introduction, but anyway, let's follow this. Um, cool that we got this walkthrough thing. Uh, I think I tried this a few times, like intro JS or some kind of stuff. It never really worked great, but this actually looks good. Let's see. You are currently in training area. Uh, there are game modes. There's a random mode. There's a daily riddle. Community, dual settings. I would probably like to see like step one of eight. I really hate it when I don't know how many there are and I usually opt out after like the third step. Um, besides that, what you probably can't see, this, the, the, the difference here between gray and white, uh -uh, that's not really accessible. I can read it on my device, but it is hard to read. This is definitely too light for an inactive state. Uh, otherwise, we got a question mark up here. Okay, that just opens the tutorial again. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to cancel the tutorial. Uh, and then we got this button. Um, this button has no functionality up here. I don't know. Okay, let's try and do a little game of, I don't know, with, with, with true or false? I really don't know. Let's do the daily riddle. It's a, oh, I don't want to log in. I just want to do anything. Let's do connection. No, I don't want to do connection. Let's do balance. Practice level, start. Okay, three, two, one. I'm up for that. That kind of looked interesting, that animation. Okay, wh what are we actually doing? Um, I can... Five? What am I doing? <laughs> okay, next row. What, what did I do? I, this is 15 or it should be 15? Seven, one... I honestly, I should have taken like... I should have read two of them. I don't, I don't get it. 15, this is, what is this? 4, 6, 12, 14, 15. I don't know, what am I doing actually? Maybe let's try a different category. Let's try true or false. I can't go wrong with true or false. I actually at least got a 50% chance of doing this right. Uh, four times one, that's certainly not 63. Uh, this is right. This is right. Uh, I don't think uh, this seems to be right. This as well this is a troll question this is correct this is not correct and this is oh i did that fast huh 
Captain Ionic is back in the game. That was fun. I kind of like uh, all of this and playing this and it really feels good. Uh, let's see, this app also has an um, area to lock in. I don't really like the gradient. Again, the contrast is really too light, but it's nice to have all these things in place here. Uh, I can continue without an account. That, that, that popover was kind of interesting. Haven't seen that usage of a popover. Setting screen, yeah, well, setting screens are always awkward. I don't know if I would put it into a card because it crops stuff like this here quite a lot in here. Uh, but at the same time, it actually looks okay. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse. Um, community, yeah, I'm not locked in for the community, but this exercise alone and even the animation of that page, this is pretty cool. Like this application offers really a lot of cool things. Um, I don't know, whenever I get this login dialog, this just looks more like an alert to me in all the places. So I'm always like, nah, skip this. No, I don't want to see this alert. However, I think uh, like a more enticing login dialog would make sense because again, right now, this just feels like I click on it and I see some random alert and I always say, yeah, not no. But this is actually a very important window to lock in. So I would rather have like a styled box where I can lock in. Since I am not locked in, uh, I can't see this. It looks like, yeah, we can have duels with other players and we have a um, rating. All these screens look good. Maybe a bit too rounded in my eyes, but this is just a general thing. Overall, I can also, oh, I can also change my mode. Let's see. F well, this is not the mode. <laughs> This is a cool mode. Nice. I like it. This app, uh, or should this be white? I don't know. But this app is definitely cool. Um, I like the modes. I, I like the small UI pieces or the small UI animations we've seen across this application. And I would definitely recommend this um, totally. If you're up for uh, cool games, 8 out of 10 for this game, go check it out. Logic Duel on the App Store and Play Store. Next app was submitted by Jacob and it's called Bookshelf Tracker. I actually like it because it has this little page and it looks like we can even app dot yeah we can probably also use this on the web. Nice, I like it. Um, but we're gonna check out the native app available on App Store Bookshelf Tracker and Android Bookshelf Tracker as well. Uh, apparently also for iPad. Uh, I don't like this. Um, like having just your big uh, mobile version for iPad, that usually won't work. But anyway, let's see what we got. Uh, we got sign into your account or sign up for an account. This is a pretty, well, I, I do like gradients. Gradients are cool. I actually also like the color of that gradient. However, the rest of the page is kind of boring. We have no cards, no shadows, no no real structure in this page. Um, so this this definitely will work on the web. So on the web, this actually also looks pretty good. However, on mobile, this doesn't really work for me. Um, let's try to sign up. Uh, so I get this modal. I can uh, only do, can I just join for free? I would like to test this application. Like I have just installed it and I don't even know what's going on in the app. Hmm. Well, looks like I'm gonna create a 40 day free trial account. At least this, is, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it's the default checkbox stuff, but anyway, it looks good. So let's create an account. It's really hard to remember oh, you like the name you used three minutes ago. Uh, let's hope this works. Yes. Okay, we get a library view. We got this, even though this is a banner that informs me that I should get a subscription. I don't like this black on blue. I don't know what's going on today with the colors. This is really strange. Um, this is not standing out to me enough. Um, this text, okay, is good, big button, um, but everything like blue, 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 I don't know exactly what's now the primary action that I should take on this case, really, the, uh, on this page. There's really no clear focus to this. Um, for the bottom bar, it actually looks nice. I kind of like these bars where you have this big thing in the middle. Um, we got a search screen, we got a library, we got a landing screen, and we got a setting screen. Uh, if I click on manage subscriptions, I guess, yeah, I'll be brought to this. Um, I'm not gonna start a subscription here, so we're gonna skip that. Um, but I could add now a barcode to my library. So let's try this. I don't know when I purchased a book for the last time, but I just found this here, uh, the good old Steve Jobs biography. So let's try and scan that QR code. 
And then we wait and wait. I do, yeah, <laughs> nice. Oh, which kind of API is in the background? I would like to know. I always love it when, uh, certainly, uh, who made this book, Jacob? Certainly Jacob didn't enter like millions of books into the library. There has to be some kind of open API for barcodes. Okay, I do have one number of copy. I have actually read all the pages. It was a good book, good book. <laughs> Uh, by whatever, uh, what is this? Yeah, add to live. <laughs> I don't know. Why do we need the three dots up here and a pop-up that says add to library while we already have this in the footer? I don't know, this is beyond me. Anyway, add to library, one of one available. So this means it's now in my personal library. And I, I kinda like this app, I must admit, this is really good. Yeah, I can now search, It the search does exactly what it is. Um, and I can only see the books. Like if I had a, a ton of books and I would just order them and just keep them in here with my notes, I can definitely see me doing this. This is pretty cool, but I just have Kindle books, so it's gonna be pretty hard. Um, I can scan, I can now lend my book. How does this work? Oh, okay, borrow information. Like I don't run a library, but it's still cool to have this. And also congratulations on using Ionicons in here. Um, besides that, there's not too much to this. So this is a pretty plain application. Now, I don't like everything about the UI of this application, but if you look at the library, like the library also doesn't have a great UI. And I think this application still does exactly what it should do. And it doesn't need uh, a fancy UI and animations. Well, yes, that would be cool and it looks kind of cool, but the core functionality here is using the scan functionality, getting that barcode, getting the information, displaying it, and then storing it in the app. And then you can also do the landing stuff. And the app does this in a very, very easy and straightforward way. And I think people um, who got a lot of physical books or also need this landing feature, this is definitely a great and simple application for you. And you can even do it on the web here. Like this would probably open my camera as well. So. Kudos to Jacob, uh, cool and easy implementation of this functionality. I hope more people will use Bookshelf Tracker. If you own a lot of physical books, go check it out. Bookshelf Tracker App Store and Bookshelf Tracker Google Play. Third and last application of the day is called Bingo Online Multiplayer. It was developed by Navanitsai. Navanitsai. Um, I think it is also done with uh, Ionic. As far as I know, I can't find the email or the tweet anymore. Probably if you're the creator and watching this video, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but I do think so from looking at this, it could actually be some kind of web application. And if I see the shadows here, yeah, that kind of looks like Ionic. So as far as I know, only available on the Google Play Store. But anyway, we're gonna check it out. Sorry that my phone is a bit blurry. I don't know why this is always the case with um, Android apps, um, select your character. Okay, now we got a problem. Isn't this a character from Clash of Clans? Like on these things, isn't there like a copyright? Hmm, so I don't claim any copyrights for, for yeah, there's definitely like copyright for Pikachu. You can't, you can't use that, but well, um, maybe you can do this on the Play Store or, or maybe there's no copyright. Well, I'm gonna use this and start with it. Uh, my nickname is Tropical Coffee, yeah, <laughs> it's fine for me. And here we go. Uh, 400 players are actually online and playing this game right now, that's crazy. And why is Pikachu uh, right above my table here? I don't know. This screen is a total mess. Like, the buttons here, they are actually quite kinda cool, but they have different sizes, so this is totally confusing me. We got a share button at the side, we got Pikachu above the uh, calendar. We got something that looks like a badge up here and another badge without a number up here. And we have a very custom tab bar. Okay, this is totally confusing me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, this is the leaderboard or at least it was the leaderboard for a short second and then I did activate the home screen again. Um, and I do have my personal screen. Well, it looks like we have no activation states for those buttons. Um, it's a bit pieced together in different places. Like here we got this gradient red card that looks a bit like Tailwind CSS. 
Um, then we get this, uh, which I don't know is okay, but then also pull to refresh isn't working. Let's see if we can just play this. I was really interested in this because it looks quite cool and has 50k plus downloads. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's see how we can actually get into the game. Welcome, enter a number in the search bar to start a game or join an ongoing game. I will just join a game. I actually don't know how you play bingo. Like, what do I have to do? I can now chat with the players. Um, oh, it's not my turn. But I like that there's something floating around in the background. And I really like that it's a multiplayer. I always wanted to build a little multiplayer game. I think it's actually not too hard if you sync the states through like Superbase or Firebase. That should be possible. Um, however, I don't know what's with Arutu going on because I really would like to play bingo. Uh, or is this game already done? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe I should just start a new game and... Uh, wait for someone to join my game. So let me quit this uh, Challenge players. That was cool this loading thing like it looks like it's pieced together from uh, Different things. I'm gonna challenge this one uh, Handshaking that sounds definitely like a lot is going on uh, Waiting for others to join the game others can join by searching the room number You can invite others by whatsapp. That's pretty cool. Like I don't have friends But if I had I would invite them now with a number um at least two players need it. Quit to go back. Uh, apparently, nobody wants to play with me. Maybe they're already scared. Uh, two or four players joined. Room number. Some other oh, games already started. What can I just? I will just start. I want to play this game. I have a good feeling that it works this time. There are actually the casual purple and the honesty cyan are already in here. So can I pl click something as well? Oh, it's not my turn. How do you actually play bingo? Well, I'm not here to raid playing bingo uh, and I don't understand this. Okay, if you get like this and this, you got a bingo. Well, um, <laughs> there's a, there are a lot of things kind of strange about this game. Like, why do we have this kind of strange quit button here and uh, this whole crazy UI going on. But I do like that we can actually have a multiplayer game. We've just seen there are other people doing something. There are more than 400 people online playing this game. Um, probably you just need to be more into bingo to, to play this and enjoy this and I'm, I'm not. Um, however, um, I do like the mechanic of the game. And you see, once again, you can do games with Ionic if you want to. A lot of this application isn't really good, like the UI and the composition of the screens. It's, to me, really, there's so much we could, we could change. Um, however, it shows that stuff like that is possible. Uh, easy number games, but could also be like a drawing game. You could still track the drawing state of something. You have like this game where people uh, could draw something or guess what this drawing is. Like we had a very popular app uh, a few years ago in the App Store, I think, uh, where people, what was it called? Like where you could guess what, what someone is drawing and if you were fast, you get points like that. Um, so there is definitely the chance to do this. And if you're into bingo, go check it out. Bingo online multiplayer. And if the creator, if Navani Tsai, um, joins this video, please let us know how you've built this. I would really be interested in this. And maybe we could have a little tutorial on building a multiplayer game with Ionic in the future. Oh! And that's it for today's app review episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed that the show is now finally back. Please leave your apps in the comments because I'm already looking for cool and great applications for the next uh, review. Again, could be Ionic, could be React Native, could be Flutter or maybe even native iOS and Swift. Well, well, maybe just leave something in the comments and I'm gonna check it out. Anyway, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and you will get notified about the future videos. And I'm gonna hopefully catch you in one of the next videos and until then, of course, happy coding, Simon.